राजस्थान राजस्थान इज द लार्जेस्ट स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया इट इज इन द नॉर्थ वेस्टर्न पार्ट ऑफ इंडिया सो नाउ लेट्स बिगिन विद द चैप्टर चिल्ड्रन स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज द स्टोरी फ्रॉम लॉन्ग लॉन्ग अगो ऑलमोस्ट थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर अगो इन अ विलेज कॉल खेजती मीन्स वे आर अमृता लिफ्ट मीन्स आवर फ्रेंड अमृता लिफ्ट इन अ विलेज कॉल खेजती थ्री हंड्रेड ईयर एगो खेजती विलेज इज नियर जोधपुर इन राजस्थान द विलेज गॉट इट्स नेम बिकॉज ऑफ मेनी खेजती trees that grow there P- students dear friends this is a khejdi tree look like now you can get a clear idea of khejdi the people of this village took great care of the plants trees and animals goats deer hare and peacock roamed fearlessly there the people of the village remember what their elder used to tell them they used to say agar pair hai to hum hai plants and animals can survive without us but we cannot survive without them so students elders used to say agar pair hai to hum hai so so students now we will study about about what amrita's friend so let's go with amrita's friend okay amrita's friend amrita would get up early very morning and greet her friends the trees she would choose a special tree for the day she would put her arms around the tree trunk and whispered to the tree friend you are strong and beautiful you care for us thank you tree i love you so much give your strength to me also like amrita the other children also had their special tree they would play for hours in the shade of the tree Is there a place near your house, school, or along the road side where trees were planted? Yes, there are places where trees were planted. Trees are planted in the gardens and along the road side. Why were they planted there? They are planted in the garden school because they look beautiful. and provide greenery trees also gives us fresh air as they produce oxygen trees are planted along the road side as they provide shade to the travelers during summer so students why trees are planted in the road side because it gives shade to the it gives shade to the what it gives shade to the travelers and why we plant why we plant in the school or parks because it gives greenery have you seen anyone taking care of the trees who do, does this yes gardeners take care of the trees and plants planted in the gardens parks and along the roads Have you seen fruits on any of the tree who eat these fruits yes trees bears fruits in particular season human beings and animals such as squirrel and monkeys eat these fruit students lalita feels that grass and small plants growing near her school well have not been planted by anyone Do you know of any places where without being planted by anyone yes forest is the place where grass small plants or trees are growing without without um, being planted by anyone 
Why do you feel they are growing on their own in forest? Seed dispersal or scattering of sheets take place by means of air, water and animals. The condition required for germination of seed are present in the forest. Sheet germination take place in presence of air, water and the warmth of sunlight. During this process, a seed gives rise to a baby plant which is further growing to a big plant. In this way, plants grow on their own on the forest. Do you know children that now our trees was in danger? Yes students, our trees are in danger. So let's move to the next topic. Trees in danger. Time went up. Amrita was grown up. One day she went to greet her trees. She saw that there were some strangers in her village. They had axe with them. They said that, that the king had sent them to cut trees for woods. The wood was needed for building the king's place. So students, here Amrita was grown up now and the wood were needed for the building. Amrita was shocked. She went to the tree that the man were about to cut. She put her arms round the tree and hugged it tightly. The man shouted and threatened her. But Amrita did not let go of the tree. The king man had to follow his order. They had to cut the tree. On seeing this, Amrita's daughter and hundreds of hundreds of daughters and hundreds of villagers, old and young, hugged the tree to protect them. Many people, including Amrita and her daughter, died to save the trees. When the king heard of this, he couldn't believe that people gave up their life for trees. He visited the village himself. Here he learned about villager respect for trees and animals. Okay, children, let's revise what we have done till now. What does the Elders of this village used to say. Tell me. Yes, they used to say, Agar peer hai to hum hai. According to them, plants and animals are survive without humans. But it is impossible for humans to survive without them. Do you think we could survive if there is no plants, no trees and animals? Tell. No. It is not possible for us to survive without trees and animals. Trees are very important for us. They provide oxygen for breathing. They also give us wool and various products. Similarly, animals provide meat, egg and dairy products like milk, cheese and wool. They are also used by humans in various other purposes such as carrying loads, protecting house from thieves. Such we can say that we cannot survive without plants and animals because plants are used in various uses and animals are also used in various uses for human being. Okay, so we can say that, that plants and animals can survive without us. But human being, it's impossible to survive without plants and animals. So here we can learn that, okay, let's move forward again. When the king heard of these, we, we could not believe that people give up their life for trees. He visited the village himself. 
There he learned about villagers' respect for trees and animals. Okay, so after that the king visit the village. He respect the villagers. The tree, the village is protected. The villagers' strong feeling for trees affected the king greatly. He ordered that from then on no tree would be cut or no animal would be harmed in that area. Even today, almost 300 years later, the people of this area called Vishnois continue to protect plants and animals even though in the middle of the desert. This area is green and animals roam freely without fear. So, um, for this, now also the Vaishnavis protect plants and animals. Okay. So, students, children, what is your favorite food? Tell me. Wow. Even my favorite food is also mango. Yes. Does the tree uh, flower? Yes, mango tree is flowering plant. Do the flower remain on the tree throughout the year? No, mango is a seasonal fruit, so its flower do not remain on the tree throughout the year. In which month do their leaves fall? It is a evergreen plant, so it possesses the leaves throughout the year. The old leaves are shed and replaced by new leaves. Okay? So, moving to the next topic. Here we have done three questions. Then next uh, we, we will done the next topic. Have do fruits grow on the tree? Yes, food fru fruits grow on the mango tree. In which month do you do they grow? The fruiting period of mango tree is May to July. Have you eaten this fruit? Yes, I have eaten mangoes. So, okay, let's discuss. So, let's discuss about why people hunt. Why they will hunt? Okay, people hunt animals for skin, meat and bones. In ancient time, people hunt animals for recreation, which is morally wrong. There are rules against uh, hunting of some animals. People can be punished for hunting. Do you think there is? Uh, do you think there is such this punishment? Due to excessive hunting, some species of animals, such as black bugs, tiger, are on the verge of extinction. To save them, the government has set rules against hunting. But some people ignore these rules and illegally hunt animals. There should be appropriate punishment to stop such people from hunting. Okay? So, children, uh, let's talk to your grandparents and find out these answers. Okay? Which bird did they see around them when they, are, when they were of your age? The birds such as sparrow, parrot, manna, peasant, crow, peacock and dove and dove were commonly seen in this age. Then next is have the number of these, uh, have the number of some of these birds become less? Yes, uh, population of sparrow and parrot greatly decrease over the years. Are there some birds and animals which they cannot be seen anymore? Birds like dove, sparrow and parrots where are come are rarely seen nowadays. So students here we done this uh, this questions discuss. Now we will move to next page. Okay. Where Shanti, uh, Shanti will tell you something. Let's move to that. Shanti's grandfather told her that when she, he was a small child, he saw more birds like sparrow and manna than he says, he sees today. Can you make two guesses? Uh, why, uh, their number became less? 
Yes, I think deforestation or cutting of trees may be one of the reason and increase in the number of population and um, building are the main reason behind it. Okay. So children, now uh, the Khejri tea. Khejri tea was the most common tree that grown in Amrita's village. So uh, now we are know something about Khejri tea. How was the Khejri tea? In previous uh, topic, I, sh I, I show you the picture of Khejri tea. The Khejri tea is found mainly in desert area. It can grow without much water. Its bark is used for making medicine. People cook and eats its fruits. Its wood is such that it will not be affected by insects. People, animals in this area eat the leaves of the cage tree and children like you play in its shades. So, uh, children... Khejri tea is really a good tree and very useful for it. Now, in this is the end of the chapter. Thank you and have a nice day.